Hello, my name is Bill and I'm going to show you now a process known as anthotype. Now this is a photographic process based on the photosensitivity of plants and it involves taking an extract of the plant's juices and coating paper with it. What you then do is to expose the paper to the sun. Now this is an example I've made and as you can see I've exposed this leaf here and this is the result. You can see that around the leaf the sun has bleached it out and underneath the leaf it's retained the colour of the plant extract. Now this can take some time so you need to leave about two or three days at least if not a week for it to, to expose in direct sunlight. In order to make anthotype prints you will need a mortar and pestle, some scissors, a paintbrush, a plastic cup, a small square of cotton or ideally some neck curtain material for straining some rubber gloves, some printer paper, A4, a piece of glass, and I'm just going to take the glass out of this old frame, some plants that you've collected, um, and that could be from flowers, so I've got some flowers here, or some sort of fleshy kind of leaves look for uh, darker colours and sort of plants that you think you can get the most juice from and then finally some plants that have an interesting shape to them so those are plants that you will use to expose to the eventual paper that you make Start by putting gloves on. Um, when you're handling plants, you never quite know whether uh, that particular plant is dangerous or they can even be quite corrosive when you handle the juices. So put the gloves on. Then take the plant and the scissors and just start to snip flowers off. You can use the stem if you want, whichever you think is going to have the most juice in. And just start to collect it in the mortar here and that's the um, bowl part of the mortar and pestle. Tear up the leaves and lay them up so that you can start snipping bits off of that as well. When you think you've got enough there, add a little bit of water. Now, not too much water because the more water that you add to it, uh, the less intense the colour will have. So ideally you want as dark a colour as you can manage. Really start to smash it down now. Start to work it into a pulp and get that uh, juice out of the plants. Then 
when you think you've got enough, take the plastic cup and the piece of cotton or neck curtain material and just empty the mortar, the pulp into there. You then need to gather up the material so that it's contained within it and you can just really just try to squeeze the juice out of it. leaving the pulp behind and you can throw that away now. The next stage is to coat the paper but just remember that if you're using a domestic um, mortar and pestle like this just do remember to clean it as uh, thoroughly as you can um, as certain plants can be extremely toxic. Coat the paper as evenly as you can. And then just allow it to dry then. And then when it's dried, just kind of give it one more coat just to strengthen the colour. So now that it's dried, I'm just going to give it one more coat of the plant extract just to make it just a little bit darker. Again, try to apply the extract as evenly as you can. And then just allow that to dry too. When the paper's dried, gather it up and get yourself ideally a drawing board, or well, it could be a large book or a piece of card, and lay down the coated paper on top of that. Now, this small one you may have noticed I've made, um, I'm going to put aside and I'm just going to put it into my sketchbook and that will be used then just to gauge uh, the exposure that these will take and I'll show you that in a minute. So put them together just to match the glass that you have. Take your plants. and put them on top. And then take the glass and that will go on top there. Now I've come out to my porch now and that's the sunniest uh, place that I have in my house. Ideally this needs to be left for possibly uh, over a week. Um, the longer that you leave 
uh, believes to expose, the, the more difference it will make in um, the uh, planter extract. Um, also, if you've got a place that's got direct sunlight, that's going to take um, a little less time than putting it in a place uh, where there's um, shaded light. So you'll need to exercise a lot of patience with this. Just let it uh, stay there then for at least a week. Um, and then after a week, just take your uh, sample from the sketchbook and just compare it then to the colour of the surrounding um, plant extract. These are two anthotypes that I've left for around about a week. Um, so if we take uh, the sample piece, you can just try to compare the colours before you take the glass away. Um, as you can see, the colour around the leaf has uh, lightened considerably. And if you compare the two, you can see hopefully what uh, the colour will be underneath the leaf. So if we take the glass away and remove the leaves, you can see that it is made a slightly darker version of the leaf shape. 